There are two main kinds of relationships between classes, subtype, supertype, and regular association relationships. Let's draw them now. In the Classes tool palette, choose the Association tool. Then simply left click and drag from one class to another class. The relationship is automatically created. You can select the endpoints of the relationship on the edge of the class to move the relationship to intersect with the class at the desired point. Sometimes you will want to draw a reflexive association, that is, one which returns to the same class as it left. To draw this, make sure you begin the drawing action near the center of the class. Now drag the mouse a little without leaving the class. The tool will detect what you want to do and draw the looped back association symbol for you. Because there is usually just one supertype class to many subtypes, drawing one of these is accomplished in two steps. First, locate the class that is to be the supertype. From the Classes tool palette, choose the supertype tool. Now click the left mouse button on the supertype class and drag to place the supertype portion of the symbol where it is required. Now locate all of the subtype classes and for each one, select the subtype tool and drag to the end of the supertype relationship that was drawn previously. This completes the connection. Due to the nature of the subtype supertype association, there is no cardinality or text phrase association information required. Of course, the relationship number is still present. Sometimes we want to capture data about a relationship between two classes. For this, we use an associative class. To create this type of relationship, choose the associative link tool in the palette. Then left click and drag from the class to the target relationship. After we've created a relationship, we need to set its cardinality. To do this, we select the relationship and then navigate to the Properties view. Here we select the side of the association that we want to work on, in this case the pet. We'll choose to set it to Conditional Many. And we can also set a text phrase. It's important to note that in XTUML we read across an association in order to read properly the conditionality in the text phrase. So in this case we would say an owner owns zero or more pets. We can then set the cardinality on the other side. And again, we would say a pet is owned by one or more owners. As you've seen, the text phrase can be resized and moved, and the association number can be resized as well in order to make the diagram a little more readable. When drawing associations, there's two types of routing. Oblique routing, which is what you've seen here, and there is also rectilinear routing. To change that, use the preferences. With rectilinear routing turned on, associations are always drawn with right angles automatically inserted.